Hello guys, good afternoon guys, it's Dr. Ko Fix today. I got another interesting addition for you guys, which I know a lot of you guys are gonna actually like. And what am I talking about here? How to test a crunch up motion sensor without using any tool. Well, I think I'm kind of a little bit good with that. I do a lot of videos. I do some kind of videos on how to test some of this component without using a tool. So we call it hacking. Is that what you call hacking? Well. It's not like going to rob a bank no no that's not the kind of happening i'm talking about so here first thing first before going further if you come into my channel for the first time you will like you will actually likely you should subscribe mm -hmm. just subscribe now when you subscribe you turn on your notification icon that is how we roll down here all right but if you don't actually you don't want to subscribe to my youtube channel or turn on your notification icon no problem all right but do not ask any question below this very video description that is my own golden rule that's my terms and condition right no matter where you're coming from i don't care like but so long as i'm actually the guy piloting and pushing this channel going upward there and you actually want to be of assistant that's the least of the thing you can do is just to subscribe and turn your notification icon why i keep on dropping the bombs you're gonna be using to solve your car problems and save yourself thousands of dollars in repair i know down up there sorry up there it's not cheap to pay a mechanic even though if you get the parts cheap because sometimes no it's not sometimes a lot of times and that is why the diy thing is very relevant so here how do you test that freaking damn thing let me look at what is it how do you test a crankshaft pushdown sensor without any tool? Is that even feasible? Well, let's see how it goes. Now, all you have to do is to lock up to this very video to the end, and I'm gonna show you the steps and procedure on how to do this first time and do it correctly. So, the first thing you wanna do is obviously to find, oh, I, I don't, I don't, I couldn't even find a car which we're gonna be using to, so how are we gonna do this? well i'm just post. we have one here and uh and another is down here right at my back i don't know if that dusty have actually escaped but let's go right inside it so the first thing i want to do right now is to grab the key then we move on oh i made a mistake and uh sorry it won't happen again well i want to introduce this guy to you guys before we go how these guys all play their role how they get paid how they get funded, how they got, how they create all the beautiful music you enjoy in your car, how they talk to each other together. So this guy right now, this we're gonna be using this guy here because he portrays almost the same thing as the crankshaft portion sensor. Now, what's the crankshaft portion sensor? It's actually a sensor which the ECM uses to determine when the when the piston cylinder, when the piston uh, the piston hit the top dead center and uses that to ignite the air fuel mixture using the spark plug and when it does that you should understand how this chain reaction happened it senses which of the cylinder the fire with this one here and it, it calls for more fuel from the fuel pump and those fuel pump transfer travel transport through the fuel lines and get here why it start before starting they have to be power here to open this injector and when it get opened you depress on your gas pedal when you depress on the gas pedal this guy here gives a signal to this guy then the ecm uses this throttle position sensor to call for more air which is going to come in 14.7 part and mix with fuel then it goes inside the combustion chamber, the valve opens and closes, and this spark plug will ignite it. And there will be combustion, explosion going on right there, which is going to be sounding very loud, but fortunately, unfortunately, you are actually shed from it using the exhaust, and that is why you perceive your car to be very smooth. Now, I'm trying to point your mind in the di right direction of how this guy functions. I'm going to say one more thing before we go. This guy here, is actually designed most of them have wirings and magnet inside they have magnet here and there are coils inside and you will see them in two pins or three pins so if they have three pins 
they have 12 volts power supply that are ground and there is a signal wire in the middle but if it is two pins as this one is right now it's gonna be having just 5 volts reference on the ground so I'm saying that so that you understand what you're gonna be looking out for so they have a magnet here you can see that they have a magnet okay so the magnets each time a metal cross around here it creates electric pulse and signal which the ECM use and interprets that very signal to know which cylinder has hit the top desk center that is lovely right now you can understand why if I want to hack and show you how to test this right now it's gonna be very much easy so I try to explain this to you guys so that you can follow along and don't think this is a magic I'm about to do so the first thing I'm gonna do right now is to open the car and pop the hood open don't look at me just look at the video then what we're gonna do next is to turn on the ignition get the key the right key for it and turn on the ignition and we should see Christmas trees here so we're gonna go over to the engine bay and look for the crankshaft position sensor wherever it's hidden so come over here and pull it up now for this Volkswagen here for your different car make a model will vary right 307 here is gonna be very much easier to find just like this Jera right here so for this Jera here if you're looking for your crankshaft position sensor location it's often located between the engine and the gearbox and some if you can find it right there either it's on top on top of the gearbox like in some 406 or 407 or it's somewhere around here but if you can find it around there you will likely see it within the harmonic balancer pull it right there down part of it all right so the crankshaft position sensor is always located in the crank area where there are gears where where there are some sort of crank where you can actually take readings just like the camshaft position sensor there's always going to be a loop or some sort of thing it's going to be using to take the reading of where the motion is going and how it's coming okay here this one here the that is the crankshaft position sensor right there so what you want to do when you see the crankshaft position sensor of your car is you want to uninstall it and uh, the wiring harness do not detach it while you still have your ignition turned on then you flip the crankshaft position sensor then you have this the the crankshaft position sensor flipped like this why it is like this let me get a little bit practical all right just a moment why you have it flipped like this with the wiring still connected to the system now you want to do something here what you want to do right now is you want to find any metal metal to cross like this on it all right you pass it on it like this while you are doing it on it like this and the ignition is on you're gonna be listening very carefully all right one you can decide to uninstall one of the spark plug wire here and put it like this or the injector pulse you just have to listen very carefully because why doing it why just repeating this same motion which i showed you right now why making it like this and still leaving the wire connected to the system you should be getting injector pulse kim 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 and you should be getting a spark all right any kind of spark spark from the ignition coil you're going to be getting a spark from ignition coil igniting uh trying uh trying to ignite the the spark plug but if suppose it's something that you brought out it and you have the spark plug connected to it you're going to be seeing a spark coming out of the spark plug and also you're going to be getting injector pores but if suppose you do this and you're not getting you perform what i just told you to perform right now and you're not getting an injector pores and you are not getting any spark then that crankshaft position sensor is dead that is how to, to test a crankshaft position sensor in any car make and model well i think that's it pretty much i don't think uh i'm looking for people who are not subscribers who are watching this video are you one of them anyway if you haven't subscribed Subscribe right now and give this video a thumbs up so others will discover it and use it to solve their own car problem just like you're looking at it. Be a good person, be a good citizen. Even if you're a bad person, 
you still have someone whom you want to help right and that is why it doesn't matter if you're good or bad subscribe i'll catch you guys later bye for now